All right, Mr. Palmer here with another video on computer science. This one is about syntax diagrams. So before you watch this, make sure you've gone over your notes on BNF. Okay, so syntax diagrams. Basically, you should be able to explain the need for syntax diagrams and you should be able to create and apply syntax diagrams. So uh, quick recap, uh, why do we need meta languages? Remember, they basically determine whether the series of characters is valid in a particular uh, language. So they define the grammar of a language. Uh, based on um, the series of characters, we can then determine whether the statements that have been written are well formed. So that means that they can then be broken down into their uh, constituent parts and it can be used to generate machine code so that um, it can be uh, turned, you know, run on a, on a computer. Okay, so syntax diagrams basically are an alternative to a BNF for describing syntax. So BNF is text-based, so you have things, you know, there's some smart people out there, they've written things like compiler generators, okay? So if you feed in um, the grammar of a language, they will then uh, turn it into, a they will create a translator into which you can feed code, source code, and it will generate machine code at the other end, right? Um, syntax diagrams basically um, make those, make the grammar of a language human-friendly. It, we can it's easy for us to read the diagrams another name for them are rail tracks or railroad diagrams because they basically work from left to right you just follow the pathway and you can build up an understanding of the language all right so diagrams define non-terminals through the use of terminals that's pretty standard in terms of thinking about uh, bnf from the previous video all right the terminals being the, the smallest constituent parts of a language which can't be broken down any further. Now, with syntax diagrams, a main diagram for a language will exist. So word can only exist in language if it divides a, defines a path on that main diagram. So if you have a word which doesn't relate to anything else, then it doesn't belong there. All right, you'll see that in context in a little minute. Okay. Uh, Non-terminals are defined in rectangles and terminals are defined in uh, rounded rectangles. So here I might have a, ro a root in BNF where a digit is defined by the following terminals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right. That would look like this uh, in uh, a diagram, syntax diagram. I've been a bit lazy and I got this one off uh, a syntax diagram generator online. I couldn't be bothered to do the 0, 1 to 9. Um, boxes yeah now this one is another rule so I'm now going to define an integer by saying that it's made up of a digit or a digit and a further integer so if you remember this is a recursive definition now because I can now repeatedly keep calling integer um, to create a, a, an integer of infinite length made of an infinite number of digits so that would look like this where I'm saying an integer can be made up of a digit or I can recursively go back and it can be repeatedly made up of digits. There's an alternative way of presenting this and you're going to see this in a little bit. Uh, an arithmetic operator could be defined of the following. So here you can see why we call it a railroad track because I go from left to right, I can pick my path and follow it through and I exit at the other end of the diagram. Now, what happens if I want to put my definitions of digit, integer, and arithmetic operator together to define what an arithmetic uh, expression should look like? Because I want to be able to do plus, minus, times, divide. So there's my BNF rule. An expression is defined as an integer or an integer with an arithmetic operator and another expression. So I've got a recursive um, definition here for what an expression is. So that would look a bit like this. An expression could be an integer that's just going straight across from left to right, or I could follow an alternative pathway. I can say an expression is an integer followed by an arith arithmetic operator followed by another expression. So this is a recursive definition here, where the um, the box, the 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 non-terminal expression, is acting like a function, all right? Where you uh, you just go in the, into the function and it will, you know, we're calling it recursively ad infinitum, all right? So basically, you should be able to explain the need for syntax diagrams, creating human-friendly uh, versions 
uh, human-friendly interpretable diagrams explaining the rules of a language and uh, should be able to create and apply them thinking about rectangles for non-terminals, rounded rectangles for terminals, they're moving from left to right so got the various pathways through like rail tracks and you've got two different ways I've just shown you of uh, the recursive definition where the arrow can go around or you can put the, the non-terminal back in on the diagram in a rectangle and therefore calling it recursively. All right, I hope that helps and I'll see you for the next one on uh, lexical analysis I believe.